Yeah. Uh, that's a giant long tongue there. Look at that freaking tongue there. Is that its tail? That's its tail? What the? It's got a zombie tail. Ooh. What kind of tail is that? This isn't a melee weapon that kills one zombie. Look at the first swing here. We see them teleport. Where are they right now? Because from what we know, the map's supposed to take place in here. Coming soon, Nocturne and Toten. All right, and welcome back, guys. And holy crap, do we have a bunch of new zombies news? We got the full season six gameplay trailer, which has information on the new zombies map and a bunch of other stuff that we can see throughout this. So we're going to go through and break it down. The only thing I can say before we watch this is there is a potential for Nocturne and Toten to be returning into Cold War zombies are potentially Vanguard zombies. And I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that after we go ahead and watch the whole thing. So we're going to watch through this. It's only a minute and 44 seconds. We're going to go through, give reactions on it, and then we'll slow it down and break down everything you might have missed about this trailer getting you ready for the final dlc map coming to cold war next week you will not get out of here alive got reports of multiple explosions in verdansk oh god what have i done shake it off we're gonna finish what you started it's go time It's funny because these new multiplayer maps they're showing, these are snippets from the zombies map. This right here is part of the new zombies map we're getting. So not only did they take the zombies map from the campaign, they took these same parts and made them an MP map, which I'm glad I've always wanted this to be part of an MP map. So this right here is from that. And then the arcades also from that same map as well. So we're not going to break down all the MP stuff. We're still going to watch it to kind of keep you guys up to date with that. But we're only going to break down the zombie stuff. That's one thing that I thought was pretty interesting, though. Strike team, Zykov is mission priority one. Get to him before Omega. A little further. Teleportation successful. Ah, there we Somebody go. Somebody put this wonder weapon to work. Adler, we have unfinished business. And then I thought this was pretty cool as well. We're also getting the haunting, the part two, essentially. We had the same event last year in Warzone, but this time we're going to be getting it as Cold War as well, which is super sick. But that being said, let's go ahead and break down all that stuff because there's probably some stuff you've missed and we've already sat down on stream, kind of picked through everything. There is some super interesting stuff in the zombies mode so beginning right here a brand new let's mute that because that sounds awful a brand new zombies experience let's skip ahead a little bit so this to me in my opinion this first room you see here i think this is going to be the spawn room i think it's going to be kind of like firebase z where you spawn in here and then you have the option to teleport which is going to be in the middle area although i'm not sure where one of the parts of this map fit in because you'll see what i mean once we get to our next scene here this is an armor stand but other than that i really couldn't make anything out on this this is just a really cool area and if i had a guess it could be the spawn location but i could be wrong but this right here is what confuses me more than anything. We see them teleport. Where are they right now? Because from what we know, the map's supposed to take place in here. But they go through this teleporter. And now that it looks like they're in some sort of like wooded forest area. This might be the White House building or like kind of the little town center area part of this map. So I think this is still potentially indoors from what it looks like we got the barricades here so this might be that open area that we showed in our other video where we broke down everything about that campaign mission i think this is still indoors even though it looks like it's outside it's that little greenery area towards the end of the campaign mission and then right here we get the uh the main area the area with burger town and all that stuff looking absolutely fantastic but uh you might be able to read something right here that we'll get a better look of as we get to this next scene coming soon Nocturne Toten, 
which I don't know, this might mean that we potentially getting a Nocturne Toten remake uh, kind of as a survival map. Obviously, it's already part of Dean Machina, but you can't just play the map itself. If they remake Nocturne Tone as a survival map for Cold War, that would be freaking awesome. Maybe as like a super Easter egg where once you do all the Easter eggs, you unlock it. I doubt it. Maybe it means it's coming to Cold War or this could just be a background part of the map having no meaning whatsoever. But I would love for this to mean that we're getting some sort of survival map into Cold War. But uh, I don't know. Make of it what you will. What do you guys think of this line right here? The coming soon Nocturne Tone. Does it mean anything? Or is it just a background pop that's part of this map with not much else to go on it? And then past that in the next scene, we get to see some of the new operators here. Our operator skin for Adler. I think this is a new one. Uh, we get the Mason skin there. Some more zombie stuff. Some sort of trace rounds. But I don't really care too much about the bundle stuff right now. I'm more focused on the zombies information. There was a wall by back there. Yeah, it looks like the Howard. Yeah, that's the Howard right there is a wall by. Then we get the Death perception perk machine and this is the first time we've ever seen this in zombies yes death perception was in black ops 4 but black ops 4 didn't have dedicated perk machines so now if you want to buy death perception from the machine here you go and that is an absolutely sick looking perk machine this is exactly what i would expect it to look like i am super excited about this but to be perfectly honest i'm probably just gonna buy it from the wonder Fizz. i probably won't buy it that often from the machine but i'm glad we have the machine and it looks fantastic as well a uh, new bundle weapon here looks like for the EM2. We get to see him go into the portal and takes him to an area now inside the base. So now we've seen three different portal locations. We got the one that I think is at spawn, the one in the middle of that courtyard slash outside area, and one that looks like it's inside of the... Um, I don't know exactly where that's inside of the area, but in a completely different area inside. And then right here, it says Krachenko lied with a countdown on top. So I don't know if that's going to have part of the Easter egg. Looks like a little Intel location here that you'll come back. But uh, yeah, all interesting stuff. I don't think this is the theater. This looks, yeah, I don't think that's inside the theater. I think that's something else. I could be wrong here. Uh, another scene here, zombies running away, nothing extra, but this then we see the brand new this has got to be an elite there's no way this is a special this is a full-blown elite right here kind of a margwa dog looking actually insane but the the interesting part is one it's blue instead of uh the yellow there was a zombie attached onto the back of it look right here is that its tail that's its tail what the it's got a zombie tail what kind of tail is that and it's got electricity all around it as well. It's got kind of like electricity elemental stuff. We get to see a new trap. This is going to work like the towers that we see in Mauer or Toten. Kind of like a helicopter on the map that you're going to buy. Kind of cool stuff there. You can see elements of the dark ether portal from inside the map. So this is going to be part of the map. Like look, this is inside of it. And you can see above it that you can see an opening to that dark aether portal, which is actually insane. The zip lines are returning, so more bugginess with the zip lines. Yay, fun stuff there. And then as he gets down here, the next scene is PhD slider. So yes, you're not going to be able to flop. It is going to be PhD slider, not PhD flopper. They did overdo the perk machine, and I'm, I'm a little disappointed we're not getting PhD flopper for nostalgia reasons, but honestly, PhD slider makes more sense. And who knows, maybe one of the upgrades for PhD slider makes it where when you fall even if you hit the ground without flopping you still explode that to me would be the perfect middle ground have phd a uh, phd slider where you slide and it explodes but also make it where you fall you get explosive damage the perk machine looks sick it's actually got a full-on screen here in the front so we don't get a full resolution of it and we actually get to see what the soda itself looks like right there that's pretty sick and then uh the next scene we actually get to see it in action here so phd slider as you can see here he is and he slides right into him and boom out of the way killing what six zombies there not bad at all but here we go this is dude every part of this this wasn't a long uh trailer at all but every single part of it is just filled with so much stuff oh uh, there's a bullfrog wall by way in the back here but that's not important here's the wonder weapon and yeah it's a melee it's a battle axe and look at that this isn't a melee weapon that kills one zombie look at the first swing here that's two zombies right there that was affected. Three? Yeah, three zombies with the first swing. And a bunch of zombies with the next swing. So this is our first melee weapon with kind of uh, a swiping effect that's going to kill more than one zombie at once, which is insane. And I, it might have infinite ammo. It's a melee weapon. I, hopefully you don't have to recharge this. This might be something that you can just use indefinitely killing zombies. And if this indefinitely one hits zombies and you're killing three at a time, you might be able to just sit in a corner killing zombies nonstop, never dying. 
but here's the alternate form of it as you can see here he is now taking it taking that bottom part sticking it into the weapon and he is now shooting it and it looks like it's got some sort of electric effect let me turn it a little bit slower down here you really can't see too much with it you only see it on the side of the frame for like a second here but that is him shooting the wonder weapon and then immediately we we go somewhere else which is unfortunate The here's the freaking margwa dog shooting electricity out of all three heads at once yeah uh that's a giant long tongue there look at that freaking tongue there there is so much in this and i'm sure we still might have missed some stuff but yeah that is the entire trailer there and like i was saying there's so much information we get to play this next week the wonder weapon looks amazing phd slider looks amazing the map itself looks fantastic i know a lot of people are complaining that it's a reused campaign mission but honestly with all the elements here it, i think it's going to be fine i think it's going to play great but the most interesting thing out of this entire video is this coming soon nocturne tone and that's where i'm gonna leave the question for you guys do you think that this right here is going to be coming into Cold War or Vanguard at any point in time? Is this a sign that we're going to see Nocturne and Toten? Or is this just a leftover prop kind of in the background, kind of, you know, hinting at stuff that just, you know, just there for fun? Uh, I guess we'll see. Only time will tell with that, boys. But with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who's became a YouTube member, our Twitch sub, and an extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We get the Legend Sergeant CJ, the Etoll Lawyer You Don't Cross Hoss, the DMCA Claim Waiting to Happen Snap, Hunter Redondo, the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Ya Master, the friend who always comes through, Drew, and then we have Luke.